हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आय हॉस्पिटल पी जी टीचिंग इंस्टिट्यूट सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट एल ए झेड सो वॉट इज एल ए झेड दैट विल बी सींग इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर वीडियो एल ए झेड स्टैंड्स फॉर लॉन्ग एंटीरियर जोन्यूल्स वील फाइंड इट इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर केस वेन वी स्टार्ट द सर्जरी वी हैव टू बी careful in observing to find out this particular defect and which may have some effect on the clinical outcomes of the surgery so as i start my surgery you can see those radial striations and those are basically zonules which are inserting on the anterior lens capsule as i started my capsulexis i immediately noticed that this zonule is torn and it's now attached to the capsular flap there so when we compare this with a normal lens you will find in that normal lens only in the periphery the zonular attachments are seen these are thin striations which you will see in well dilated pupil but central 6.5 mm lens capsule is generally free of zonules that's why we don't find during regular capsular axis that zonules get damaged but in long anterior zonules you can see those zonular attachment quite anterior on the lens surface so the area of zonular insertion is quite vast in long anterior zonules the possible difficulties in this case is that the capsular axis may extend when it goes into this zonular area which is quite anterior and also if you break more zonules there is a possibility that zonular weakness may develop in that case so we have to be more observant and more careful during capsular axis we may observe or experience little bit of more resistance while doing the capsular axis we can shift to capsular axis forceps also if we feel that the resistance is more do not attempt very large rexis in this case the target is to achieve around 4.5 to 5 mm rexis making sure that least number of zonules are damaged and we don't have caps rexis extension now here the size of the rexis was little smaller than what i wanted so i decided to enlarge it further and i want to show you a little mistake i did here so we have to give a tangential nick and we should not push the scissor over the capsular axis margin which i did here so if we do that we get kind of a zigzag cut which i will show at the end of the surgery so once i have created that small tear i am going to extend it further but making sure that i am not going too far in the periphery because there is always small risk that uh, the zonular attachment might pull this capsular axis edge away so i knew that there was a little tag there so i wanted to remove it so i tried to hold it with the forceps and pull it but i realized that the tag is quite strong enough and it's not getting torn so it should not give away during phaco emulsification and after phaco emulsification you can see that zigzag pattern which is created so there is a v outwards which should be avoided so just uh, make sure that when you are doing the enlargement of the rexis make a tangential cut to avoid this issue i hope you enjoyed the video and learned few more tricks for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel and visit our website fakotraining.org.in thank you so much